compute the derivative of x times ln x minus 1, and apparently we need to be careful. Well, let's start by prepping this thing. y is equal to x times ln x minus 1. Well, this is a logarithm. It has parentheses as part of my prep rule. The argument starts right here with the x, and then the general rule is that it ends with the first term. So it ends at the first plus or minus, and that means it ends right here. So we have x times the natural logarithm of x itself minus 1. So we were careful. Now that it's been prepped, we can take the derivative of this thing. Where do we need to start? Well, just notice that it's a product. So we'll take the derivative of the first guy times the second piece unchanged, ln of x minus 1. Then we'll add the first term unchanged, so x, and we'll take the derivative of the second piece in green. So I'm going to leave myself some space here, and now let's go and take these derivatives. The derivative of x is just 1. The derivative of ln of x minus 1 is 1 over x minus 0. So there's our raw unsimplified derivative. Cleaning it up, uh, the first term is just ln of x minus 1, we don't need that 1. Plus, let's see, the 0 doesn't matter, so x times 1 over x is positive 1. Notice that these two terms cancel, and so we get ln of x, and that's what we get for our derivative. As a little side issue right here, notice that we've just found out an antiderivative for the natural logarithm, and that's pretty helpful when we get to integration theory.